Good day. Father Matt Williams here in my parked car. I hope you are well. All right, we're on day two of our Advent journey as we make our way to Christmas, and we're reflecting upon each day um, Pope Francis's new apostolic exhortation, the joy of the gospel. So uh, about a week and a half ago, I had this uh, desire. I needed to start exercising a little bit more. And so I thought maybe in the colder mornings, it'd be good to go play basketball. We have a school in our parish, um, uh, gymnasium in our parish school. And so I went and got a basketball. Um, and when I brought it up and I started to dribble it, the moment I it hit the ground, it, it didn't bounce back because it was lacking air. And you need both air and a good basketball uh, to play basketball. Otherwise, it's going to be a very frustrating reality, right? Well, it got me thinking in, in that, you know, it it's not just a matter of when it comes to basketball, it's not just a matter of the leather and having a good ball, but it's also the invisible reality of the air that fills it. It's both in. It's the physical material as well as the invisible air that is needed to have a good basketball. And I think this is a good analogy for life. You know that um, we are so often focused just on what's physically in front of us, the material. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because we're human beings, right? We're embodied souls. And so, you know, it's important that we eat and that we drink and that we have fellowship and that we um, provide for the basic needs of our lives, education, etc. But we can't ignore or forget the fact that we also have a spiritual and invisible reality, our soul, our immortal soul, that needs to be nourished and taken care of as well. We take care of both our body and our soul, not either or or one or the other, but it's both and. Just like Father Matt, maybe he's been doing a good job exercising his soul with my prayer and hopefully doing things right, but have not been exercising my body, I take care of my body, it's both and. We have to take care of both our body and our soul. And because we're human beings living in a, in a fast-paced world, Sometimes we can get so caught up in just the physical, the material, what's in front of us that we can forget about maybe what's even most important, the spiritual, our soul, our relationship with the Lord. Remember, it's both and. It's not either or. It's both and. And in our society today, when we lose sight of faith and the gift of faith and that faith in believing in a personal loving God in the salvation that he offers to us, the, the incredible love and forgiveness and mercy in our Savior Jesus Christ, when we forget about that and, and forget about the meaning of who God is and who we are, then we just focus on the physical, the material. We forget the air and the basketball. We focus on the physical and material and we just want to stuff ourselves with whatever makes us happy, whatever gives us pleasure. We get into maybe things like consumerism, right? Think of Black Friday gone awry, like taken to extremes. Or any of the, the things of the world that we take to extremes and make it, if you will, our God, our idol, because we're relying on this thing, we'll worship this thing to make us happy. And it, the reality is, is that we look to the material things to make us happy because we're not taking care of what's invisible, what's unseen, that is our soul, our spiritual life, our relationship with God. So Pope Francis, in the first eight paragraphs um, of his apostolic exhortation, is addressing the reality that, you know, if we don't have joy, it may very well be because we're not tending to the spiritual, because we've not encountered Jesus, or we have a need to re-encounter him in our lives, his mercy, his forgiveness, his salvation, that to encounter Jesus, and you have to encounter him every day, it's not just a one and done deal. You can't just be talking about your conversion, or your relationship with that happened on a retreat 20 years ago. As I heard on retreat recently, if you're talking about what Jesus did for you more than 48 hours ago, like you're living in the past, like Jesus is here in the moment and he wants to surprise you and bless you in the moment. It's a matter of us opening our hearts to the mercy and the presence for him to come in to every aspect of our lives. And Pope Francis then goes on as he addresses these cultural realities because we're not tending to the soul, the spiritual. He then moves to the, the joy of an encounter with Christ and how in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, it talks about and proclaims the joy of salvation. In the Old Testament, it's all the prophetic and the anticipatory reality of what's going to happen when the Messiah comes. And then for those in the New Testament who have encountered Christ, they experience great joy. Mary says, my soul proclaims the greatness of of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. 
Pope Francis says that even Christians, this is kind of a cool line, it's sad, but it's true, right? There are Christians who seem to live like Lent without Easter. Now, if you're a Christian and you walk around and your face looks more like Lent, in other words, that Jesus isn't rising anytime soon, than like Easter, which is marked by joy, something's wrong, something's off, and we gotta, we gotta look into that. Now, granted, we might have ups and downs in our life and you might be going through a hard time and like the Lord is with us in that. And in the midst of that, the promise and the hope of his enduring love salvation and his mercy will begin to enkindle joy in us. Will begin to enkindle joy. That an authentic encounter with Christ is marked by an enduring joy. Pope Francis goes on to say in paragraph 7 that the most joyful people that he's met have been people, two kinds of people if you will. The poor, so you figure the poor who don't have much, but they, in other words, the material realm for them isn't much, but God is everything for them. And also the professionals who live in a sense of, a sense of detachment. In other words, they have a good balance between the material and the immaterial, between the, the, the spiritual and the corporal. They are not looking for the things around us to be the sole source of our happiness. They look to the Lord, a sense of detachment. And lastly, in paragraph 8, the Holy Father says beautifully that when we've encountered Christ in this powerful friendship, he says we're liberated from our narrowness and self-absorption. In other words, faith in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Lord Jesus Christ, pulls us out of ourselves and that need to, to stuff and fill ourselves with the things that are going to make us happy. It lifts us out of ourselves to something so much greater than, than ourselves. In other words, Jesus Christ and the plans that he has for us. And it lifts us out of ourselves so that we are now attentive to the needs of our neighbor, especially the poor. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.